Hello everyone, this video is about to create application using React.js with Node.js. It means to connect React with the Node.js, okay, to create an application. For that, first of all, we should install Node.js after installing. So now let's get started to write our code. I am using Visual Studio Code Editor, so the code editor has opened. Um, I have a folder by the name of CRUD here on the desktop, okay, CRUD folder. Uh, in the CRUD folder, I have um, created another folder by the name of backend. So now I will create, I will set up my node.js, it means backend environment. So for that, first of all, I will write npm init hyphen y. It will, it will initialize npm. So see the package.json file has created, uh, but it is outside of the backend. So let's create it inside the backend uh, folder. So I will run that command back. I will go to that directory. I will run that command back so that will create now in the backend folder oh that has created so let's delete this that has deleted so after um, creating this and let's install the uh, mysql um, if you would like to use the mysql so install the mysql now so express express is a backend a framework for the node.js okay that we would like to use so it will initialize that Yeah, that has initialized. Okay, so now um, we will create one another file to run our code to write our code in that file. Okay. Yeah, let's create the file. Let's name it server.js. So here we will write our node.js code. So before uh, moving to write the code, so we will set up the environment for our front end. Also, we will create a React app. So for that, let's come to run the command. We will go back to the CRUD folder. So here we will write npx create. Sorry, npx create react app. We will name it front end. Yeah, so it will create now the folder, uh, our front end. Uh, folder okay it will create our uh, react app yeah it is installing it will install the react app uh, our front end app has created it took some time okay so now let's write first of all a few code for our server side okay for our node.js uh, that that is working or not so let's write first we will import the express framework okay Cons express is equal to require express after writing this so let's write const app is equal to call the express method so now we will just run our server so for that we will use app that listen so it will listen to the port number 80 81 it is the port number okay uh, so now we will create an arrow function here we will print a message console.log listening now let's run this file okay yeah we are in the backend directory so here i will run a node server.js i will run server.js file see it is listening okay listening has printed we can also write npm start so it will start this file okay so it is listening okay so now let's come to the uh, our uh, front end app okay to this app here i will come to the app.js in the app.js i will write some code to access the server okay here i will create first of all an api so let's create an api so for that we will use app.git we will use git api okay to get something from our backend so it will be like api okay we can call, name it api or okay just api and here we will create a arrow function here we have two parameters the first one would be the request and the second one would be the response so we will return a, a message okay return result.json we will return a message this is from backend i will access this message now in our front end okay and uh, if we run our um, 
a server uh, in the let's come here in right local host our port was 8081 if we run this port uh, so let's run npm start our backend will start our node server node.js yeah it's running now so let's refresh it see i cannot get i will just write here api what is the response see the message has printed this is from backend and now let's use it off so here i will get our message first of all so for that i will use use effect hook use effect hook and here i will get the i will use fetch api method okay to fetch the data i will call uh, i will use uh, use this api okay to get that message so it will get uh, that message to us and after that that thing we will get a result we will change that to the json after that we will create a variable so let's create a state here const data set data we will store the uh, data that we have returned in this data by default it is null so when we return the value so we will store that in city using set data we will store the result oh sorry First, I will console that log. Okay. First, I will print on the console that. If there was any error, so it will print the error to us. Yeah, let's run our app. So, to run that, let's come to the And here we will go to the front end cd front end and npm start it will start our uh, react app let's go to console yeah let's come to the console Uh, pitch local has been locked by course yeah that has locked by course so for that uh, we will just come here to the backend and we will install a package by the cd backend we cannot access our node api so for that we will install npm install course okay yeah that has installed so now let's use that come here to the server.js and import that first const course is equal to require course after that let's use app.use course yeah, let's refresh that uh, page now. Yeah, see, we got this message. Okay, this is from backend. Um, just come here into our app.js and we updated our data here. We will update our data here. And here we will write set data data dot message and now let's come here to print that if the data was available so it will print us the data otherwise loading I will just wrap it in each one time 
let's come here see it's loading so now it will refresh the page mm. yeah where is the error object are not valid and data that message we write something like this data oh sorry let's remove this let's see it now see it's loading it has printed okay so the error has gone yeah loading so the data has came from backend so this is from backend so it was all about accessing our node.js in our react app i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching